So we actually learned about the importance of KBAS UQLC for a long, long time. So recent data uh, from the first generation of the RESIP had demonstrated the efficacy. However, this drug was not quite well received by the ODAC uh, and FDA in a way is there's some concern about the randomized data and then further data need to be uh, reviewed for the future. But now at this point that we have another drug at aggressive that actually had a similar characteristic. And in this randomized study, which is actually similar to the COVID 200, we're able to demonstrate an improvement of progression free survival and response rate in the patient who failed the first line chemo and immunotherapy. So, with this, you know, a randomized study compared to the standard of practice of docetaxel, we have efficacy improvement. So, uh, likely, we will have another uh, drug that is proven by randomized study in the market. So with that, I think it's going to uh, change our practice. And also the toxicity profile of the drug generally quite well received it with some concern about uh, liver, liver toxicity and some GI side effect, but overall it's quite well tolerated. So how would this change our practice? I think that would be an important question. So now that we have this data, we, we really have to find the target. Now in the United States, it's quite well known that our patient first line lung cancer, they will receive NGS. Although it's not 100%, but the percentage is quite high. But outside US or in selected country, especially in Asia, when you know NGS is not covered by the insurance, that we actually always test for EGFR, ALK, uh, ROS1 and, and PDL1. But NGS is not the standard practice. But now you add on another drug, uh, drug that had another target that changed their so-called the survival of the patient, then it becomes important to know of the k c early on. So I think that, you know, it's going to add onto the list, then it starts to make sense to do NGS rather than individual gene testing. So I think overall, the improvement of the uh, survival, uh, progression-free survival and response rate in a second line situation have actually you know impact on so called this patient population as well as actually give us a more indication to do whole genome testing or the the NGS in the early on where we make a diagnosis of lung cancer.